This is a frame that I've designed for Margaret Worthington for her Shetland um, pictures. On her Shetland pictures, there's small cutouts in the picture, and she, you know, we're trying to make it look like you can see the wall behind the picture. Now, um, this way, what I've done here is I've made a uh, a false back in it with an acetate sheet in it. So what happens is the picture sits in there, in this part of the, the thing. This goes on top of there. That's all pulled down. This is, the sheet is a mylar um, in a uh, sheet. It's a really hard, or it's a sort of a stiff sort of a piece of plastic that goes in there. We can then tape that around there, put hangers on it, and it's out of the road of the, you won't be able to see the hanger, of course. Uh, then the picture will go in there and the cutouts will show the colour of the wall behind. Now, also, if you've got down lights that are above this picture and these pictures lean forward a little bit on the wall, which they normally do when you hang them on a wall, they normally lean a little bit forward. That allow that light to come down the back here a little bit and you'll be able to see a little bit of light probably from the back of the, the through the picture. But that's what I've designed for the Shetland one. Um, uh, the other suggestion was to do it in sandwich it between two pieces of perspex. The problem with you when you do that is if you sandwich it between two pieces of perspex like say so that's your first section, you've got another one. So we're going to put a couple of little bolt holes up in here. And then you've got a problem with trying to put a hanger on it. Um, and you've either got to put the bolt hole down here so the hanger comes up, or if you put the bolt hole up here, your hanger's up here like in this spot here. Uh, hanging a perspex is a bit of a problem. Anyway, that's what I've devised. Thank you.